the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have uh, Max Exline, who's the president of our local club, score. Thank you very much. I want to welcome you all to NARA 56, the closing ceremonies. And before we start, I want to make one thing certain here, okay? Is it NARA or NARA? Yes, yeah. All right, now I want to see a show of hands. Is it NARA? How many think it's NARA? I hate NARA. All right, now how many think it's NARA? Well, hey, I want to thank NAR for, cho for choosing SCORE to hold this NARM this year. Oh, I said NARM. NARM this year. We are very, very happy to have this. This is the second NARM we've ever had here and in this state. And we have really enjoyed working on this. And NAR has been excellent uh, to our club. We really appreciated the positive attitude that we saw from the people we worked with from NAR, Ted Cochran, John Hockheimer, and Ryan Coleman. Uh, these people were good as gold. We never heard a negative comment from them the whole time. And they really backed us all the way on this. And we're very happy to be working with these people. NAR is lucky to have and so, this was, this was supposed to be a different NAR. Uh, Ted approached John Moore, and actually John Moore and me, I think, and it was right after the National Sport launch, and um, he said that he would like to do something different with this NARA this year, and that would be have a rocket festival. And he said he would like to combine uh, elements of sport launches with elements of contest launches and come up with something new. And that was our goal, to try to do that for him. And we hope that you believe that we did that. Because we worked very hard, and we didn't do it all ourselves either. SCORE had a lot of help. We had help from NCR, um, especially we had help from Moto Joe Hinton from NCR, loaned us a bunch of high-power equipment we didn't have. Uh, we had a lot of help from Cosrox. Cosrox, uh, especially uh, the president of Cosrox, and they loaned us their equipment, launch equipment, and their PA system. We appreciated that. And we had help from Crash also. And these people provided personnel for us. They helped us uh, to get this launch area in what we believe to be the tip-top shape that it's ever been in. And NAR helped us out on that also with some of the expenses that it took because uh, we had to renovate the road, we had to renovate the shed, we had to do some things with the launch equipment, and NAR really helped us out a lot. We really appreciated it. We were not alone in this venture. NAR uh, helped find the hotels for us. We didn't have to do that. Uh, NAR did a lot of the things that I did on National Sport Launch and some of the other people in my club did, they did it for us, and we really appreciate that. Amen. Now, I'm a lawyer, so don't throw tomatoes at me for saying that, but, but I am a lawyer, and I know that without NAR, there would be no rocket. There would be no rocket. People are so litigious these days, if you don't have some kind of insurance and you have a hobby like rocketry, 
it's going to die because people are going to keep suing and suing and suing and if you don't have insurance, it's going to be the end of it. So to me, me personally, from my, my profession, I think NAR provides a very valuable service in that regard. And uh, without NAR, I don't think there would be rocket clubs, I don't think there would be a NARM, I don't think there would be anything like that. So I really want to thank NAR and all the rocket clubs in Pueblo. And we hope that you find that uh, SCORE has acted in the spirit of NAR. Paying forward is what NAR is all about. And this NARM, NARM, I'm from the Midwest, we say NARM. Yeah. Paying forward is what it's all about. And we saw all these kids with these take and fly rockets. And we saw people from ULA, young people, college age people, people from Ball. And I can't help but think some of these kids that were building these fly, or that were using these fly and take rockets, we got to take a rocket home, a great experience for them. Some of those kids are going to be the ULA students and the ball students of the future. And I can't help thinking that those ULA and ball students are going to be the future of the space program in America. And we, as NAR members, can thank ourselves for providing an environment for this type of thing to grow.
want to thank Boston Machining Service. I don't know, is anybody from there here? No, they're not? Okay, well, they got away without selling me those two gliders. So now I got to pay postage. Uh, high tech rocketry, e rockets, a big e, e rockets. You out there? All right.
well, this is great. Vernon, Vernon Glita are members of our club. We, didn't, we don't even think they're members of any other club. I don't know. Maybe they're not. They're shaking their head. They're not. And so we said, geez, and, and they even paid dues, too. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, we decided that we would make them lifetime members. And so we have. And a guy in our club who's real good with laser graphics and things, Dan Paul, made up some special lifetime steel membership cards that will never expire. And I'm going to get to show our appreciation
I got five bucks from my parents. I went over to Woody's Hobby Shop in Ottumwa, Iowa. Woody had a lot of hobby stuff, a lot of things I was interested in. And I had this five dollars burning a hole in my pocket. So I came, I, I looked at what Woody had. Woody had this great big plastic model jet kit of a Hustler. I don't know if you older guys remember that. Real fancy model. And he had that, and he had some rockets on display, a few rockets. And I knew it was getting down between this Hustler model or Woody showed me all different things. Woody showed me, he had several models. He had a, he had a, a street, he had a sky hook, he had a, a Ranger. He had a far side. He had these rockets, and he showed them to me. And then he showed me the launcher, which was a two by six block of wood with two big holes drilled in it, and it had masonite on the ends and a place to put batteries inside of this block. And it had a piece of asbestos furnace paper for a blast reflector. And it had a welding rod for a launch rod. He showed me that. Then he showed me these little uh, red cardboard tubes that they had motors in. He, he showed me them. He had a he had an A motor. He had a B motor and a C motor. And so he showed me these. And so I had this hard choice to make between the hustler and buying some rocket stuff. So I got down to it, and Woody started adding up the bill. And I only had five dollars. And Woody added it up, and to get all the rocket stuff, I was gonna get a streak, it was 50 cents. That's the one I could afford, a streak, because I had to buy all the launch equipment and stuff. So when it came down to it, Woody said, it's $5.80. So I looked at the hustler, and I looked at the rocket stuff. And I had this choice to make, I thought, but then I realized I couldn't make a choice because I only had five bucks. So I, I had a long face, and I said to Woody, I said, I guess I'll take the hustler. And Woody goes, you know what, I'll give you those batteries for free. So Woody gave me the stuff. I took it home, put together the launcher, and Woody also gave me a choice of motors. Woody suggested an A motor. And I, I talked to Woody about the motors, and he said each letter that goes up, it's a more powerful motor. And he said you would not want Anything but an A motor and a street. And I said, I'll take the seats. <laughs> so I got I got home and I got I did my first countdown and it was like deja vu when this whole kid was doing the countdown on the future rock. And I went five, four, three, two, one, launch, and it disappeared. I never saw it again. <laughs> so Woody you were right, and Woody, I want to thank you up there, because I know that's where you're at, for starting me on a hobby that lasted me a lifetime. Thank you. Thanks, Max. Thanks, Max. So now we're going to go straight into the award ceremony. And we're going to try to do things a little differently than we usually do at NARAMS. So what's going to happen is, I'm going to put up uh, a slide, it's going to have some names on it. Those people should come forward, get their award, and then they can take pictures on the stage. So, let's try it. So we're going to start with the pre NARAM awards. So this is the awards for, you know, competing in contests throughout the contest year. And we'll start with A Division. So, please, come up. Ashley, Allison, Zachary, Alyssa. Yeah. 
<laughs> They're rocketeers. <laughs> I know. Chris will take your picture. Everyone else? <laughs> They're hands. Okay, B Division, I think only one of them is here. Zach. Hey, Zach. If you're in the section with one of the other three, um, let us know what we'll we'd we'll we'll like to take their plaque back to them rather than mail it. It's a big stage. All right. We call him Mr. Raccoon. He's got it going on again, too. Thank you. 